Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Back again with another Knights of the Old Republic 2 video for you. In today's video we are going to be covering force points and how they work in the game. We will talk about how many you can get based on class and how your alignment will affect force power costs. We will also go over how charisma level will affect this and we will break down force point regeneration and how to get those back the quickest. I wanted to do some videos going over the force powers for different alignments, but I figured this would be a good topic to cover prior to making those. So with that said, let's dive into this. All this information I pulled from the strategy wiki, and I have linked that in the description if you want to check that out. You'll start gaining force points at level 2 when you acquire the force sensitive feat, which gives you 40 force points. Newly trained Jedi will also acquire this feat. You will also gain points per level up based on what class you are. Guardians will get plus 4 force points per level up, Sentinels will get plus 6, and Consulars will get plus 8 per level. Once you get to level 15 in Prestige, you will get a little more per level up. Weapons Masters, Marauders get plus 6 force points per level up, Watchmen and Assassins will get plus 8, and Jedi Masters, Sith Lords will get a whopping plus 10 force points per level. Wisdom Modifiers are also added to force points per level, so buff Wisdom if you're looking for more force points. So you can see here, after I get to level 2, I have 48 force points, 40 from the force sensitive feat, 6 from being a sentinel and leveling up, and then the other two are from my wisdom modifiers. Force points will determine how many force powers you can cast per engagement. Each force power costs X amount of points, and then when you run out of force points, you will have to wait for them to regenerate before you can cast more powers. Anyone playing light side and spamming force lightning has definitely experienced this. There are three types of force powers, light side force powers, universal force powers, and dark side force powers. Every force power has a base cost of how many force points are needed. Light side and dark side power cost will be affected by your alignment. Universal force powers will always cost the same amount of points regardless of your alignment. I'm about to throw up this chart for the strategy wiki, but before we check that out, I did want to show you how the alignment works. So here is the alignment for your character. It's a scale from 0 to 100. Zero is down here at the very bottom and it represents being as dark sided as possible, or dark side mastery. 100 is all the way up here at the top and that represents being light sided as possible, or having light sided mastery. This middle is of course 50 and the neutral in between that you start out as. As you probably already know, performing light sided or dark sided actions will move this bar here and represent your current alignment. I wanted to show you this because where your alignment bar is will directly affect the cost of light side and dark side powers. Here's the chart that I just previously mentioned. I got it linked below if you wanted to check it out. Light sided force powers will cost less force points for a light sided player, and more force points for a dark sided player. And it's the same when reversed. Dark side powers cost less for a dark sider, and more for light siders. Let's use this first power here for an example. Stun droid, which is a light sided power. Stun droid has a base cost of 15 force points. So at a neutral alignment between 50 and 59, stun droid costs 15 force points. Using the chart, we can see that if we were maxed out on the light side at 100, stun droid would now cost 7 force points instead of 15. And if we were maxed out at the dark side at 0 to 9, stun droid would cost us 26 points instead of 15. And it's the same scenario for force shock right here. Normally having a base cost of 20, it would cost a maxed out light sider 35 points to cast, and only 10 force points to cast for a dark sider. Here is another chart from the wiki. It shows us what the cost percentage for a force power will be based off the force power's alignment versus our own alignment. Neutral alignments will have no effect on force power cost as long as we stay perfectly in that middle neutral area. As you grow further into the light side, light sided powers will begin to cost less points to cast since they match your alignment. We can also see it's the same thing for the dark sided powers being used by a dark sided player. Using an opposite alignment's power can cost you up to 75% more force points to cast if your alignment is maxed out. So generally, it would be more beneficial to you to use force powers that match your alignment. Then you will not have the alignment penalty taking up so many of your force points. However, there is a way to counteract this massive force point penalty. Buff Charisma. Buffing up your charisma is the fix you are looking for if you want to use Force Storm as a light sider or Force Heal as a dark sider. I know a lot of players like to stick true to their alignment, but it is a game mechanic, so we might as well take advantage of it. Charisma will affect a few different things. 
Force Power Difficulty class, Persuade Bonus, Party Attack Rolls, and Vitality Healed by Heal. In terms of benefiting Force Powers, Charisma is definitely an attribute not to be overlooked. Force Power Difficulty class will help less enemies avoid or be saved from your Force Powers, and the Vitality Healed by Heal boost will certainly help anyone relying on Force Heal instead of Med Packs. The most important part of Charisma to a Force user is that it will reduce Force Point cost of Opposite Alignment Force Powers by 5% for each Charisma plus 1, or CHA plus 1. Here is a chart for that. For example, Force Heal costs 30 Force Points. A fully dark-sided player would get a 75% penalty for using Force Heal since it is a light-sided power, bringing their Force Heal power cost up to 52 Force Points instead of 30. If this player has a Charisma of 20, it will adjust the Force Point cost of Heal down 25%, so it will cost 50% more instead of 75% more, now costing 45 Force Points as opposed to the 52 if we had no Charisma boost. Charisma is definitely something to boost if you intend to use opposite alignment force powers. Here is a perfect example from my last playthrough. Here we have my fully dark sided player. I have her dark side mastery, which would be 0 on the alignment scale. You can also see right here I have her charisma at 19 plus 4, so 23. I have buffed my charisma on her because I heavily rely on master heal. You can now see right here I have a total of 494 force points. I use Master Heal, and now I have 459 points, meaning it cost me 35 points to cast. My penalty for opposite alignment powers is now about 40% instead of 75%, thanks to my boost in Charisma. We can see on this chart that the level 23 Charisma will grant me a better penalty of 40-45% to 45 instead of the 75%. Then finding Master Heal on this chart, right here, we can see between 40 and 45% Master Heal should cost me 35 points. So the math adds up. Thank you Strategy Wiki for providing this information. Alright, there is one more topic that I want to cover. Force Point Regeneration. Force Point Regeneration is strictly time based and will not be affected by how many Force Points you have. When not in combat, Force Points will fully regenerate after 90 seconds. Whether you have 100 Force Points or 500 Force Points, it'll only take 90 seconds to fully regenerate them. When you are in combat, this time increases immensely. In combat, regeneration speed is 900 seconds, or 15 minutes. Woo! A huge difference. We can, however, get these regeneration times to be much better. The feat Regenerate Force Points is super helpful. It increases Force Point regeneration by 25% outside of combat, and increases it by 250% during combat. The Force Forms Force Channel and Force Affinity also boost Force Point regeneration when active. 50% out of combat, and 500% during combat. Every Jedi class will acquire Force Channel by level 14, so everyone can take advantage of this. Force Channel does the same thing as Force Affinity, plus more, so always go for Force Channel if you are trying to shorten regeneration time. We can also see that Regenerate Force Points and Force Channel can be used together for an increased regeneration time of 75% out of combat and 750% during combat. Here is a handy chart thanks to the wiki. Out of combat force point regeneration is 90 seconds normally. It takes 72 seconds with just regenerate force points, and 60 seconds with just force channel. Having regenerate force points and force channel combined brings out of combat regeneration speed down to only 52 seconds. And during combat base force regeneration takes 900 seconds. It takes 258 seconds with just regenerate force points, and 150 seconds with just force channel. Having regenerate force points and force channel combined brings during combat regeneration speed down to only 106 seconds. From 15 minutes down to under 2. That's how you do it. So the Quixoni crystal and certain wearables like the Sith mask, force focusing visor, and some of the Jedi robes will also offer a bonus to force regeneration. They do not increase the speed percentages, but they do increase force points regenerated every 6 seconds by the sum of their values. And that's pretty much it my friends. Now we know how our alignment will affect certain force powers and how much they cost. And now we're also aware of exactly how the regeneration will work. So this information should be pretty useful. Knowing how force point cost and regeneration works should certainly help in planning your builds. Feel free to hit me up in the discord or comment with any questions and I'll do my best to help you out. Get subscribed if you're not already so you can be notified when I get those other force power videos done. Throw a like up on this if this one helped you out. As always, I appreciate you all checking out the video. Thank you all for the awesome support, and we will see you in the next one.